Okay, I was craving some Indian food, so we ordered some. And these are, on their menu, they call these, I think, picnic balls, which is weird. But anyway, there's potato, cashew, ground up with spices and stuff. And we have a chutney and a sauce. Okay, this we have malakefta as usual. Got one of those. And then, okay, then we just, this I don't think I've tried before from them. This is their shahi paneer. Any gravy that's like tomato with cashew ground up, I'm like, mm, yeah, give me that one. I'm like less into like a tikka masala. Okay, yeah, that was delicious. Okay, we have a paneer kulcha, which is basically just a stuffed naan and stuffed with paneer. And then this is just a whole bunch of naan that has come with the other two items. So I am going to chow down on some savory, sweet, yummy, cozy, gravy things. I wish I got rice, but I'm glad I didn't get rice. But anyway. All right, guys, I wanted to film a little skincare haul or PR haul in a way. Let's see, on the glow blush, this is one of the cutest PR packages. So looks like this. And then when you open it up, there's three of their cream blushes that you can use on the face and cheek. Face and cheek, lips and cheek. I, I feel like I bought this before. I just can't remember. I really honestly think I picked this up from Ulta before and I can't remember what I thought of it. So yeah, but really these are huge. You get 19 grams of product. I mean, cute. Haven't tried these that I know of to share with you right now. All right, where do we want to start here? We have another of these Think Sport SPF 50 20% zinc oxide. I, I need to start giving these away because I have, oh, I'm one body. I cannot use all the sunscreen in the world, even though I'm, I'm using it now. This one is the face and body stick. If I were someone that hung out at a pool a lot, I I would use these. I just I just wear sunscreen to protect my skin and so that it looks good under makeup and those are the things. So the next thing is the scar gel. I've never seen this before from them. They are constantly coming out with such interesting products. So let's see if there's like any instructions. Non-oily gel proven to significantly improve scar, texture, color, and overall appearance for softer, healthy looking skin. Panthenol, allantoin, and onion bulb extract. Hydrate, soothe, and encourage self-healing. Oh, okay. You can use it to soothe burns, sunburns, and tattoos. And improve the appearance of stretch marks. There's a lot that's being promised here. I don't know. What should I use it for? Hmm... Maybe if I've been in the sun for a little bit, that's interesting. Next is the microdermabrasion scrub from them. This is the best drugstore microdermabrasion, even just in general. I feel like with microdermabrasion scrubs, they're either really, really, really expensive or just really expensive. So to have this option, now I don't like that it's in a jar, but it's a very good one. Advanced peptides and collagen moisturizer. Ooh, I will try this. I... It's like right now when I see the words collagen, <laughs> I like immediately want to put it on my skin. That's just where we're at now, mentally. Okay, next we have some SkinCeuticals. I have been sharing the, oh, I have to go grab them, hold on. Okay, so these are the SkinCeuticals, their vitamin C lineup. I think one of these we've, we've had for a long time. It's the CE Ferulic. This is so good. I use this during the day under my moisturizer, love it, as like a vitamin C. So you get 15% L-sorbic acid, 1% alpha tocopherol, which is vitamin E, and then 0.5% ferulic. Generally, when you have a vitamin C and an E together, and a ferulic, <laughs> quite good. That's one of their like standbys, like cult products that they do. The next one I tried is the Silymarin CF, salicylic acne treatment. So you have 0.5% silymarin, 15% allascorbic acid, and the 5% ferulic. I use this on top of my moisturizer at night. This is so good, so good. And I'm not necessarily a salicylic acid person. It is the active ingredient in here amongst the other three. But this, it brightens my skin. The next morning, I'm just like, wow, beautiful. I've been using, what else have I been using that's been doing a really good job? Oh my God, I can't remember. 
or is it just this? So good, highly recommend. The third item that is from SkinCeuticals is the Floritin CF, which has 2% Floritin, 10%, so a little bit less, allosorbic acid and 0.5 ferulic. I have not tried this one yet, I will let you know, but I believe are these two the new ones. The CE ferulic we know has been around for a while, that's like a tried and true, but highly recommend the Silly Marin. If there are any promos that I can find, I will list them below for you. Okay, continuing with SkinCeuticals. This is their tinted SPF. This was in my May favorites. It's so good, I love it. It Again, I mentioned it has some of that like silicone type feel to it, but it doesn't pill under makeup, or with makeup on, yeah, under makeup, and it doesn't leave a white cast. If you use the original version, this one doesn't have a tint to it, if you use the tinted one. I'll give you a little swatch. It, I like this one because it's kind of neutral, and I mean neutral in like, it's neutral. Like it doesn't lean pink and it doesn't lean warm. It's a really good tint, but again, if you are, I think if you're up to maybe light, medium, medium, you can get away with it. Beyond that, you will get a bit of a cast, so just use the clear version. With this one, I can do a little bit of powder and some concealer around the eyes, and I have like really pretty looking skin if I'm going for like a very natural look. So this one, really great, does not pill under makeup. The non-tinted version, also really good under makeup this is their newest product and it's the daily brightening uv defense sunscreen brightens and evens skin tone so the other two i showed you were spf 50 this one is an spf 30. while this is their newest launch and i want to love it because i really generally do enjoy skinceuticals this pills under makeup i have used this three times and i've used different moisturizers underneath i've also used this by itself without a moisturizer underneath and my makeup pills. I'm like, when I'm applying my foundation, whether it be with my hands, with a sponge, with a brush, it pills. Now, it's not a horrible thing that it pills. It only is bad if you're wearing makeup. You want your sunscreen to create a barrier on your skin, right? And the pilling action means that it's creating like a solid layer. But if you wear makeup, this is not the best one. So... I'm just putting that out there. Oh, I have another thing from Think Sport. It's the magnesium deodorant, coconut, pineapple, aluminum free. I've used the Sol de Janeiro one, and again, I like it, it's fine. I can't wear it in the summer. It, it's not an antiperspirant, it's only a deodorant, and I don't smell, but I'm definitely damp. This, oh, this really smells like coconut and pineapple. It smells really good. Okay, I was like gonna not try this, but maybe I will. Maybe I will try it. But again, it might need to be something that's more like not in the summer. We have some Dr. Zenovia. These two products are two of my favorites from the brand. This is the 10% Glycolic Acne Peel Pads. These are good. And then this one is the Advanced Retinol Night Repair Treatment. I have one of these open on my vanity. I really like this one. At first, I didn't think there would be like some kind of, you know, I'm like, am I gonna see the efficacy of this? But because they use Bakuchio, which is a, a different form of retinol, I think it's a plant-based retinol. Am I making that up? It looks like this, it's in a squeezy tube. I didn't think this was going to like change my skin, but you do get the peeling action. And when I apply it on top of moisturizer, the next morning my skin just looks brighter and more even, a little glowy. But when I use this straight onto my skin, cleanse skin, and then put a moisturizer on top of it, the first day, no peeling. Second day, a little bit of peeling. So I was quite impressed that this product actually gave me that result, that kind of stronger treatment result. Lastly, we have some items from Replenix. I did a little bit, I bought a whole bunch of Replenix one time. And I did like a review. It was like the full video was just skin care from skin store. I fell in love with so many earring flipping, so many products from Replenix. The 10% benzoyl peroxide acne gel. That is so holy grail right now. Like nothing. I will use nothing else for blemishes. What that can do for your blemishes, how quickly it dries it out, how quickly it flattens or the stuff comes out is amazing, unparalleled. If you buy nothing, 
or are interested in nothing that I've talked about, pick that up. I think it's under $20 or it's at $20. You can, there's sales all the time. Recently it was 50% off and I sent one to my brother and sister because like there was a package going to them anyway, it's like their birthdays and so good. And I was like 40% off, 50% off. I've been seeing their products go on sale and I'm like, what is going on? But they also have an under eye cream with retinol in it that's also really good. I'm like, this brand has great skincare. Is it going out of business? Like what is going on? Turns out when I receive this package, it's just that they're um, changing their packaging because like, look at this. This is so much more modern and clean. If you've seen their like normal skincare before, it's like, and it's like, silver gray bottle and like the writing is i don't know these are upgraded packages for sure so uh because i love replenix i've already well i've only delved into one of them so there's a vitamin c pro collagen serum 20 percent vitamin c complex arbutin emblica which is a ingredient i have not heard of before a medical grade ingredients i am so excited to try this i just i need to work it into my skincare routine first and then this is the anti-aging age restore nighttime therapy ceramides peptides green tea polyphenols i've already used this for a couple weeks i really like it it's not super heavy you could probably use this all year round i don't find that okay i don't know if we'll get you through winter not winters in ohio um, but every other season so far i can attest that it's a good one and then lastly is the replenix Acne, so you've got glycolic acid 5%, salicylic acid 2%, and they're the clarifying pads. Haven't opened these yet. Pads, I feel like I'm getting a lot of like pads lately and I, I can't open them because they go bad, so I want to like save them. Okay, lastly I have this box. I know what brand it is, but I, I haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna do that together. It's from the brand Babor. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Hold on, let me look it up. Okay, I went to a YouTube page. It's pronounced Babor. Okay, it's gonna be hard for me to say. It doesn't like roll off my tongue. Anyway, so open this box up. It's another box. This is a big box of, I think there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Okay, there's a, <laughs> there's another box in this box. Okay, so that's really pretty. And then, oh, there's a cover. Oh my god, okay, well, clearly there's a lot of skincare in here. So I think it opens up like a book. And you have all of this skincare, which you are not gonna see. Okay, so we have some ampules. I've seen these being talked about before. This is a brand that I see on pretty much every website that sells skincare, but I just have no concept of like what a popular product is or what their cult favorites are. Um, this is the lifting, oh, I'll try that eye cream. I'm always down to try an eye cream. We have an instant lift effect. Okay. This skincare brand has been around for I think like 60 years or something. So they have a lot of products. Ultimate ECM Repair Serum. Detox Lipo Cleanser. Very interesting terms. It's probably because, you know, I believe it's a German brand. So sometimes things translate differently. This is their clean performance. I've seen videos on this clean performance line. Overnight mask, okay, 97% naturally derived ingredients. A mask, collagen cream, <laughs> gonna try that for sure. The collagen serum, ooh, that'll be good for my neck. I love using hyaluronic acid and or collagen things on my neck. And then this is another clean performance, moisture glow cream. Is it tinted? Ooh, there's like a depth in here, there's like a lot of depth. This is actually a really, really cute, clever PR package. I like this. If you're gonna send a lot of products, this just gives it just like enough support and cushion for all of the products. This is like quite genius. I really like it. So that is a lot of the skincare kind of PR items that I am testing out lately. We will probably not be able to test out all of the Babor products because it's a lot and I do give my skin time in between new products, particularly treatment type products, so that I can see 
a more obvious difference in my skin so if i've been using like a glycolic acid or retinol or vitamin c or something i will no longer use that product for a few days and just use like a normal moisturizer and some toners and not really do anything much uh, before I try out something new that way I can give you guys a more a cleaner review anyway so yes on to the next stuff on to the next stuff on to more stuff on next okay small Aldi haul we have cheddar cheese we have carrot cake cream cookies I don't know why I bought these like if they're good I'm gonna eat them all if they're not good then what a waste right then we have unsalted butter Lemon bow tie pasta. I typically wouldn't buy prepared food like this, but it said lemon. Lemon. I love lemon things. The zesty guacamole tortilla chips. Uh, these are good. They're not super salty and they're thinner than like a normal tortilla chip, which I like. I feel like our first, at least like for me and like people in my age group, we used to see this in like a red version and the green version at like maybe World Market, maybe TJ Maxx. But, um, this one was really good and they're thinner. Did I say that? They're thinner than a normal tortilla chip. So I'm, I might try like the red bag, the salsa one. Three cucumbers. We have a mango pico de gallo. I have like one avocado, so I'll probably make it with this. These are exciting. Banana chocolate cream mochi. I don't even know if that's gonna be good. This one I'm really looking forward to, s'mores mochi. They have a new fish, it's pineapple maui, and it's on a cedar plank, so I'm really excited. There's two of those, a garlic aioli sauce, and one dozen eggs. Oh guys, okay, oh wait guys, <laughs> I was trying to say all right or oh wait, okay. Anyway, I'm about to film my May favorites, but I wanted to talk about this very quickly i had showed this to you in like a drugstore haul in a vlog the loyal magic root rescue 10 minute root coloring kit this is in the shade dark brown i used it for the first time last night i think it looks amazing it's i am basically dyeing my roots to look like how another person who does not have white or gray hair would have natural root growth <laughs> But I think it's doing a really good job because it's a little darker than the hair color that I dye it, which is the L'Oreal V38. And so this is a first impression because this is just the day after. I have like no touch up. Because it's darker, I feel like it camouflages my gray better. And love. So the big selling point for me is not just that it covers like really beautifully and naturally. It is the container that it comes in. So you put the two things together and you shake it up and then you remove this cap and you put this brush on. This made doing my roots so, so easy. So I cleaned out the bottle, uh, shook it up with some Dawn soap and then put like rubbing alcohol in it with water and shook it up and now it's like perfectly clean. And I did the same thing with, I'm just gonna keep this now. Even though I tend to touch up my roots with my actual hair dye, I'll use like half and half and half of everything. And I think it does an okay job. I'm curious if when I use that dye in this bottle and just this method, if it will make it so much easier for me. It might, I'm just, you know, maybe I'm like lazy or not well versed in how to actually cover my roots. So I have a few more boxes of this that I can get through so I'll have like more containers and brushes. But I'm like very here for this. Like I am, all, I don't like the way my hair looks today. Like, sorry guys, but roots covered. A plus number one. Okay, so sometimes I lose track of things I've tried. I don't remember if I've had the Key Lime La Croix before, so we bought that. I've already had about three of these and the rest are in the fridge, but the Limoncello, I was reading a review that said it tastes like birthday cake or like a lemon cake. It absolutely, absolutely, absolutely tastes like that. So if kind of like an iced lemon loaf or but it still has birthday cake vibes. It's a very interesting flavor, and I think it's 
uh, you love it or you hate it. Either you're like, I like this kind of sweet faux dessert vibe, or you're like, this is synthetic and I don't like it and I don't agree with it. So I'm a big fan. I've just been putting ice in a tumbler and then pouring this in and it's so good. Okay, updates. I made this salmon because I got two. I'm not a fan. I would not repurchase. It doesn't taste pineapple or Maui or really like salmon actually it was like a very white fish which was odd um yeah that was i didn't i did not like it okay, the mochi so good the s'mores one oh repurchase the banana chocolate cream oh that looks good, like a nipple uh it is good I would I would repurchase this. There was another flavor called cookies and cream, <laughs> called cookies and cream. Like you've never heard of this before. Um, I don't know. It just seemed more boring, so I didn't grab it. But it's probably really good too. This one though, you see the s'mores one, you get this one. Okay, so we opened up the carrot cake cream cookies. These are unfortunately also really good. Uh, I don't know. It's like obviously you want it to be good because you're not wasting money, but then when it's good, you keep eating it and you're like, mm. I mean, I had one. So, I mean, obviously I'm not like obsessed with them, but they're really good. 